Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ASTC. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I let you this time frame think that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will. Anyways, absolutely monster move here, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first area of support is what I would call the ideal level. When you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if this level down here at the 560 mark can continue to hold. I use the word continue very deliberately because on several occasions today, the bears did try to press down through that level, but to give credit where credit's due, the bulls on all those different uh, instances did do a good job of holding strong. So yeah, preferably speaking, if the price can hold above 560, that'd be great. Don't get me wrong though, if the price falls below there, by no means am I implying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But in the event the price can, you know, keep on doing that, that would definitely be a huge sign of power in the, uh, you know, the bull's favor. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so a big picture point of view. So this definitely assumes you have more of a broader time horizon, but that's where the purple line comes into play. The famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way of measuring the health of, you know, the, the price movement, this right here being defined as quote unquote, the movement, just keep an eye on that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, full control from the big picture point of view. Again, yeah, staying above, above 560 would be great, but assuming you care about the broad scope of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, then the bulls 100% control the chart. What about levels of resistance? As it stands right now, initial area of resistance right here at $7.15. And I kind of call that the true level of resistance. I get it, yeah, the price did technically go up there above $8. And I get it, $8 you know, uh, you know, is a level of resistance, but in many cases, as is the case here, usually there's initial you know, hurdles that first need to be crossed. And you know, this 715 area is definitely more so that key level that needs to be crossed before you start talking about $8 and all that stuff. So yes, I get it. It is fun to talk about testing previous highs. It is fun to talk about breaking new highs. But before you start having those conversations, the bulls first need to prove themselves, not only by holding above these levels of support, but first by getting up above $7.15. So all in all, you know, nice movement and you know, the nice volume, the week's still three days left. So let's see how this one continues to play out. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.